reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget, not him. What the... Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot. Freeze! Says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Bachinski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you'd just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. Oh, this is why, sir. I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. The Batwing is prepped and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto-nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. A question, sir, if I may? How did Waylon Jones come to be the way he is? Atavism from the look of it. An unfortunate genetic mutation. Do you think the condition causes physical pain? Mm. Might that explain his rage? It goes deeper than that. Imagine growing up looking like he did. Children are cruel, Alfred. Uh, so are adults, sir. Um, all part of the human condition, I suppose. We have a tendency to fear, often outright despise, that which is different. Ah, oh, but you already knew that. If you're serious about getting to Jezebel Plaza in time to find Penguin's men,
Testing is true. It appears the control towers you use for your auto nav systems are putting out a jamming signal. Storm damage. You'll have to go down there and find that out for yourself, sir. Got it. Be close to one now. Drop smoke pellets to conceal my movements. I need to get up and out of danger. You can't shoot what you can't see. Attacking head on is a good way to get myself shot, and probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Is that thing out there with you? Oh! Screw this. I quit. Oh! Taker by crawling you through the, the vent. Hired us? You piss him off or something? No way. Besides, I don't get the sense that you're a physical type. Get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. You want to see their brains on the wall? Whoever you are, come near me and I'll kill this guy. I ain't playing. You sure that'll help. Hey, Vince, you seen Charlie? I can, I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. This tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly.